Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and oh we, we have a beautiful new moon occurring in the sign of Libra this week on the 25th or 26th depending on where you are in the world and we have clear and shield your energy. Interesting because when I was tuning in for you I got an image of the scale so I thought this week's going to be all about bringing in balance but one of the ways that you could be doing this is perhaps you've been absorbing a lot of energy or taking on a lot of stuff whether it's from somebody else or whether you've taken on too much yourself perhaps with all with good intentions and this is where they want you to have a bubble around you like a, a clear boundary around you where you're protecting and shielding your energy so you're only working with your own energy this week so this is part of the balancing process I, I would say coming through with this. So the way you can do that is just imagine a white bubble around you and a bubble of white light and this is your space, your beautiful healing space. Everything else is outside of that. So we have seven of feathers, preparation and resourcefulness. So there might be a big re-evaluation of what's going on in your life at this moment of some certain plans, certain structures, certain boundaries, especially interpersonal boundaries uh, with somebody else. It might be somebody else significant that comes in and you're thinking, hmm, maybe I just need to kind of set up a, a new boundary around me at this moment in time. So let's see what's shifting and changing with this, Leo. And this is part of the bringing in the balance. So this would be with somebody that you actually, you know, potentially is like a partner or someone you're spending a lot of time with, somebody you probably usually like. It could be a, a friend or a family member or even a work friend. But yeah, I just think that you're working a lot of stuff out inside your little bubble or the universe wants you to. So let's see what's shifting and changing. Maybe you just need that bubble, <laughs> a little bit of time out to rest and recover and heal your own energy in some way and find some peace, which would be nice. So let's see what's shifting and changing for Leos this week. Let's see what's coming in for Leo. High Priest Taurus, okay, Cup 3, Moon Cancer and Death Scorpio, wow, okay, this is like have a break, have a real break, Leo, you know, there's been a lot of commitments around with that High Priest, you've potentially, like I said, taken on a, <laughs> maybe too much of you, given too much of yourself or taking something big on and realised that maybe it's just been just taken more out of you than you were expecting, which could come through. So, but you know, things are shifting and changing around that which you're celebrating. There's a rebalancing of big commitments that are coming through, and there's a transformative energy that comes in with this. So, that's a really, really, you know, it does feel like a big shift with a, a commitment in your life. So, and this may be something other than the other, a, a person, you know, a relationship. It could be a commitment to work. Maybe you've just taken on too much. Uh, but maybe there's somebody that you kind of can have this rest and recovery with or bounce off in some way and, and talk about it. So there's a lot going on here, but yeah, I feel like you are just reevaluating how much time you're putting into everything at this moment in time or how you're thinking about some things. So let's see. And it's a good time to do that. It really is. It could have some really positive effects and positive results. So in terms of some of the themes that are coming in, we have Ten of Feathers, Recovery and Transformation. So again, those words coming through, recovery, transformation, a sense of just letting something go, something that's potentially taken up a lot of space inside your mind. Maybe you've had to say no to some things. Maybe it's just like you're just done. By the end of the week, you're like, right, I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm just going to, you know, close the door on that. And I need my my time of recovery and, and transformation coming through. So let's see what else is coming through for Leos. What else is coming in for Leos this week? Yeah, the Four of Swords, this is the card of rest. Rest, recovery, have a big think about it with the Four of Swords. This could precipitate some kind of a mindset shift or maybe you've, there's just a lot you're working out inside of your mind, a lot you're processing here, trying to make sense of some stuff. But, yeah, the Four of Swords does mean rest and recovery. So 
yeah, great week to kind of just take a break from some of the pressures that might be on you at this moment in time and to find a way to kind of relieve some of that. So let's see the consequences of having a big rest. What's coming through with that? The consequences of that for Leo. So let's see in some way. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles, here we have the scales. This is the rebalancing, the reharmonizing that's coming through, which is kind of potentially could be something a lot to do with material resources as well. So perhaps it's to do with money, maybe kind of sorting some things out with that or imbalances in relationships in, you know, in relation to money and how who's spending what and who pays for what and <laughs> who's earning what. So this can be, this doesn't have to be just purely partners. You can have this kind of discussion with friends, family. I mean, it doesn't have to be purely money. It's just around something in terms of the resources coming to you that is has been a bit out of balance that wants to kind of be brought back into balance. So that can be time. It can be somebody giving you support. It could be, uh, yeah, anything like that. It could be around the home. So Let's see. Let's see what else is coming in. So let's look at some major external factors that are happening here with this at this moment in time. Major external factors for Leo. So yeah, great week to bring in this beautiful balance. Oh, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, money. <laughs> major external factor. When the King of Pentacles comes in, money is a big thing that you might be re-looking at or rebalancing in some way. Issues around money with partnerships, friends, family. It, this can also just be looking at success and business and the king of pentacles can be you know it can represent banks as well so maybe it's like looking at contracts around money as well like you know whether you've got like a a bank loan of some sort is there something that you can uh, potentially work around that that it just becomes a little bit easier or are you going to refinance or is there something coming in some discussion coming in around that and again the king of pentacles is this taurian energy of what it is that you need so a lot of taurus coming in what it is that you need it can be food as well the food that you're eating so maybe it's like something there's some kind of underlining little health thing that comes up that you want to rebalance as well that's something that could come through with it as well the fairies wanted to talk to you. We have the Lady of the Harvest. Okay, so for some of you, you're actually, this is kind of like a com culmination, a completion. You're reaping the harvest of some hard work that you've put in, which is why it's like time to take a break. You've done with that, time to reap the harvest. So it could be a little bit more money coming in for you, some of you with the Six of Pentacles. That does mean gifts gifts coming, gifts of money, unexpected things that can come through around that. So that's actually really positive Well, as well, but they're kind of saying it's time to reap the harvest of what you've put in with something this week. So yeah, that actually, that actually feels good because if you're feeling a bit like, you know, weary, soul weary, or just, you know, I've been putting a lot of effort in and haven't necessarily seen the results, this is a positive thing to come through with this. So... I want to pull an animal energy and see, yep, B, <laughs> busy B, you've been busy, you've actually been busy, whatever it is that you put a lot of hard work into, you're reaping the benefits this week, you're reaping the harvest, which is really nice, but part of that is just like, have a break, <laughs> like we said, but the B is a very independent energy as well, like it does suggest a lot of busyness, um, but, you know, we've got busyness and rest, so we've got finding the balance between that, and it can definitely be home home life balance as well, work-life balance coming through could be something that you're working on. So let's see, message, what does Leo need to hear this week? Let's see what messages are coming through for Leo from the universe, from the higher dimensions, the higher vibrations. What does Leo need to hear this week? We've got oneness is my true nature. So this could be a sense of just kind of finding a way to become closer or feel with somebody, just really understanding. Yeah, I just feel like there's this communion with somebody else that comes in, which feels really nice. We've got, I am the loving energy of the universe. So there could be this closeness that comes in with you and another person this week, which feels really nice. It's like, let's, like, I feel like there's mutual support and 
just being there for each other. So that's a really nice energy to come through with this, uh, which feels really supportive, like it's a nice energy. So let's pull a card for blessings for the week. What blessings are coming through for Leo? along with all these other things, which is rebalancing, reaping the harvest. Oh, we've got the Knight of Wands, positive change with the Knight of Wands, which is actually really lovely. And so this is part of the you've taken some kind of action here. You are finally getting some kind of result, which is actually really great. The Knight of Wands can represent travel as well. It's a good time to be traveling or organizing traveling, even thinking about traveling. This could be further afield travel as well, so it can be overseas travel. It's a Sagittarius energy. It you may be that you've just learned a lot throughout the process. You might be connecting into your inner wisdom this week, uh, and this is also really great for any kind of education, higher education, or you know, if you were. Thinking about studying in any way, that's a good energy to come through with that. So the blessings is a little bit of fun and spontaneity uh, is also something that comes through with that, which is really lovely. So let's pull an affirmation card to finish this one off, Leo. So we've got, I forgive myself. As I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough. I think that's part of this recovery and transformation energy. And I am free to love myself. Beautiful. And that's why I feel like there's this oneness and beautiful connection that comes through. This one says, there is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge and awareness we have, which is really nice. I was kind of getting that here with this sense of uh, feeling like you're in this together with somebody and, and you're both going through a similar thing and both kind of there to support each other in a way because, and whether this is like a person, a pet, or you're just communing with nature or spirit, people who have passed over, however this is coming in, like something's been out of balance. So it's saying, forgive yourself, don't blame anybody, just kind of come into this beautiful oneness and there's some really beautiful energy of rest and recovery and rejuvenation and reaping some really nice rewards and harvest with this energy. So that's it, Leo. That's your weekly reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment because that lets YouTube know that you support the channel and helps with the growth of the channel. And I always love reading your comments and take care, Leo.